What is up and welcome back to Talking Nutrition. Today I wanted to get real with you and share my 30 kilo weight loss journey. You might not know this, but I used to be overweight, unfit, unhealthy, unhappy. I had no confidence. Yet I overcame all of that after having tried a whole bunch of different diets and you know I fell for the you know the misinformation, the documentaries, and I overcame that and reached my goals. And I want to break down exactly how I went from being overweight very unhealthy to then within a year actually losing 30 kilos now of course after i've gained a bit in muscle and those kind of things how i did that and how i transitioned into coaching and stuff afterwards too because i've seen so many people over the years this has been more than a decade now my fitness journey started 12 years ago but i've seen so many people make the same mistakes i made worldwide as you might know i spent more than a decade touring the world with bands all across the world you see you meet people right and you you hear the same misconceptions around nutrition a myth you know like the the things people think are true but really aren't the misinformation and then there's the documentaries that are totally biased and i saw the same thing even when i started to work as a crossfit coach up here in tromsø in norway same kind of thing you notice how these weird ideas, even dating back to like the 80s, 90s, like are still around and people are still making the same mistakes, trying the same diets and still being stuck, you see? So I want to explain that to you. How I overcame it and I've been the news to you, potentially. Let's see. I might give you a little teaser, but that being said, something that's really cool is seeing our downloads on this podcast go up and up. It's kind of crazy to be honest with you because if you knew me back in... 2012 and before then I was very quiet I never got on camera I definitely never thought I would start a podcast and we now surpassed 30,000 downloads and that's a huge milestone so I want to thank you I really mean that Talking Nutrition was created to clear up some of the misinformation to give you real life advice and practical tips and share how this stuff really works we're well over 150 downloads, sorry, uh, episodes in. I think we're over 170 now. And we're just going to keep showing up for you, right? We have a lot of cool stuff coming up with new guests, etc. But I want to thank you. Even if this is your very first podcast that you're listening to, thank you for being here. If this is your fifth, your your tenth or hundredth Talking Nutrition episode, welcome back. If you haven't yet, in the meantime, I do really want to ask you one favor. Would it be cool to ask you for a quick five-star rating on Spotify or Apple? You can do so right now, right? When you're listening, go to the app. It's a quick five-star. It's It takes a few seconds, but it actually means the world. Like, it allows this podcast to show up on other people's phones more and more. So you can pay it forward. You can help me reach more people. You can help me help more people get healthy by simply dropping a quick review. I know we ask this a lot. Sometimes you hear me bring this up at the very end of in the middle of the episode, but it's honestly something that would mean the world. So do me a massive favor, drop that quick rating, and then let's get into my journey. Because the nutrition space is very confusing, let's be honest. If I think back to 2012, this was, I mean, Instagram was around, but like it didn't blow up yet. TikTok wasn't a thing yet. YouTube was there, you know, but still early stages, obviously. Um, social media was a very different kind of space and nutritional advice was there, but it was kind of hard to find. There was like forums, there were, there were some documentaries and of course there's the articles and et cetera. But generally speaking, the shit that was going around at that time, I mean, you still see it, but it was more confusing than anything. So I would Google how to lose weight, lose weight fast, diet, this, that, whatever, fat loss. Every, every time I looked into this stuff. I felt more confused. I didn't know who was right, that it's carbs and it's fats, it's the calories and blah, blah, blah. Then you got to fast and these things were around then too. So like I just went online and I tried to, to follow some of these, you know, diets and, you know, documentaries to you or whatever. But it just, it just didn't help. I was unfit. I was unhealthy. I was very unhappy with the way I looked and felt and I had no confidence. That was always the case. I was very shy. Um, but like at that time, especially because I looked like shit, I felt like shit, like it didn't help. So I was just over 110 kilos at my worst, which was not including muscle because I never trained. My fitness was just non-existent. <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't have a lot of muscle 
And this is all after being the skinny kid for a long time. I used to be that kid with a fast metabolism. I could eat a horse, not gain weight. But then as I got a little older, you start to, you know, you start to drink alcohol, you eat unhealthy, I was smoking a lot of cigarettes. I just gained weight. Especially when I started drinking alcohol, like that's when it really took off, you know. So gain weight over the years, unhealthy food, a lot of snacking and stuff, fried food and stuff. So it was at 110 kilos. Um, and at the time, I just started playing with First Blood. It's the band I'm currently still in. Or again, I should say, since 2022. And um, we were in Brazil. And I remember specifically the moment I decided, hey, I got to do something about this. Uh, it wasn't even like a big thing that happened. It was just a realization. Because we were just getting ready to get on stage. We're in the hall between like backstage and the actual stage. The band was still playing before us. And I grabbed my guitar, tuned my strings and stuff. Um, or changed my strings, tuned my guitar. And put my guitar around my neck. And I turned around. There was like this big door-sized mirror on the wall. And I just looked at myself in the mirror. And I didn't recognize myself, you know? Like, obviously over the years, it kind of crapped up. But I, I saw someone who was unfit, unhappy who was unhealthy, who looked like I had no energy. You know what I mean? I felt like shit and you could see it too. And that moment was really the turning point for me where I was like, you know, I got to do something about this. I don't know how yet, but I, I got to do something. So we finished our tour in Brazil. I flew home the very next day. I grabbed my bike, signed up to the local gym, right? Went to the next town, signed up to the gym. Got my very first workout program, which at the time there was this massive printer at the gym like the old school ones, you know, like a, a meter high, like the old school <laughs> printers. And I got my first workout program. So I started working out lifting weights. I did my very first run ever. I looked this up on, on the Nike running app. It's still up there. My very first run in 2012 was five minutes and 36 seconds. Five minutes and 36 seconds. I was completely done. I was dead. But that five and a half minutes turned into nine, 10, 15, 20, etc. To a point where I was doing 5 plus K runs and I was getting in shape, you know what I mean? I was lifting weights consistently. That was the fun part. And especially once I got into CrossFit in 2000. This was not until 2014, I think. Yeah, 14. But especially then, like the training, like that was just, that was fun. You know what I mean? But okay, let's go back a little. Because the nutrition, that was the hard part. The nutrition was the hard part. The nutrition was confusing. It was difficult. And I tried the low the low carb diets. I had all these supplements. I had like a pre-workout, a fat burner, a post-workout, something for in between the workout. Um, There's a few other ones. I didn't even remember what I had, but a whole bunch of stuff was unnecessary and it didn't get me the results. I was spending a lot of money on it. Didn't do shit. Then there was a documentary about like this green juice thing. So that's all I did for a few weeks and I felt like absolute crap. Did I lose weight? Yes, of course. But mostly food mass, water weight, glycogen, right? Maybe some body fat, but guess what? Went back to eating normal again, weight came back. I opened up my fitness pal. I got that for the first time. I selected maximum weight loss per week. One or two kilos, whatever it was said, you know? Same kind of... It, I think it put me on 1,200 calories. Like, as a dude, at 110 kilos, like, that was way too low. So, obviously... I bounced back because it was unsustained. Like, I couldn't stick to it. But I threw trial and error and, you know, actually getting some good information from my coach as well, um, Frank, the CrossFit coach. I finally kind of figured it out, right? But with a, a way more basic approach, it was, it was not about the strict diets. It was like, hey, eat some more protein. Get some healthy fats. Your fruits and vegetables. Drink your water. I learned about steps and stuff too. You know, like I learned that we we had to be active throughout the day, and I was just like, you know, lying on the couch, like playing video games and stuff, a lot of times. Um, so you know, like the nutrition part was a lot of trial and error, and I made so many mistakes. You see, the same mistakes I see so many of our clients currently right making before they join us. The same mistakes you listening are still making. It was all in the real food. It was nothing flashy. It was just basic stuff done consistently over a long period of time. So now fast forward to 2013, just over a year later, New Year's Eve, I had another mirror moment. So I got up to use the bathroom and I didn't even kind of pay attention. I didn't really like answer, but I heard behind my back, my, my friend was like, yo, did you notice like how much weight Yohan lost, you know? And... 
I think I hadn't given myself like the credit or recognition yet. But at that moment, I was like, huh, okay, cool. Like, that's just nice to hear, you know? So I went to the bathroom, looked in the mirror, kind of lifted up my shirt. And it felt good. I was proud. I was way leaner. At that time, I had lost just about 30 kilos. My lowest, I like just about 80 kilos. And again, after I've gained, I've built muscle and those kind of things, but it was a massive difference. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll try to put my, <laughs> my passport photos from 2012 and 2017 up um, on this episode's like cover. Like, I think I should be able to do that. It'll be funny. But uh, the difference is massive. It was crazy. You know what I mean? It's a different person. Like, you would, you would not think those are the same people. So for the first time in my life, and I really mean when I say this, for the first time in my life, I felt confident about the way I looked. And that was a big thing for me. Um, that's also what makes me so passionate about this stuff. Because I want you to go through that same transformation, not just physique-wise, but that, that confidence boost. Um, I want you to experience going from absolutely feeling like crap, unfit, unhealthy, to feeling healthy, being happy, being confident in your own skin. That's the shit that, that, that fires you up. You know what I mean? I want other people to feel that too. Because I know what that's like. I know what it's like to overcome all of your struggles, the confusion, etc. After having tried all these different diets. And like I said, like through the years, like I've seen so many people make the same mistakes. On tour, at the gym, etc. But going back to like what's really made the biggest difference for me. If I think of the things that stuck with me. It was the guidance the knowledge I gained through my coach at CrossFit at the time, Frank, and the basic steps done consistently over a long period of time. It wasn't a crash diet. It did take me almost a year. I made it happen. And of course, there were times in between where I went on tour and kind of maintained and those kind of things. But generally speaking, right, it was a long-term journey. And I made it happen. During that period, I was mostly focused on nutrition. Sorry, <laughs> not nutrition. Uh, well, for myself, but <laughs> during that period, I was mostly focused on music. That's what I meant to say. I was mostly focused on music. Um, because I was so into CrossFit, I always had this idea, although I never shared it with anyone. I always thought like, hey, when I have a little bit more time at home and I'm not on tour all the time, I want to pursue this like, CrossFit trainer thing. I think it'd be fun. No, I got into that. Not until 2018, 19. 19, actually, I think it was when I had settled in Norway and I got back into CrossFit because music got so busy. Like at one point I was just kind of maintaining when it comes to my fitness. Um, sometimes gained a little, sometimes lost a little bit, you know, still made some mistakes and trial and error, but you know, like kept learning. Was I settled in Norway, got back into CrossFit, got the opportunity then to actually get that course done, the level one and get a job. That's when I began coaching. So I started as a CrossFit coach. Um, but because of the nutrition thing being so much of a crucial part of my journey, and because I saw so many people make the same mistakes at the gym, being confused still, getting some questions around nutrition too, where people just didn't really know what to do. Those kind of things that just drove me to be more and more invested in that nutrition thing and get more interested in it. And then I was like, hey, there's this course I can do, Precision Nutrition. Let me go for that now, because this is my passion. So that's why I started this company in 2020. We're almost, you know, four and a half years in now. It's been a ride. <laughs> and it's been a very rewarding journey. Seeing by now hundreds of people overcome their struggles, like reach their goals, lose the fat, keep it off, build muscle, be happy, be confident. I figured out a system that works. And I can say that with confidence because I've used it with hundreds of people. Right now. I've created a journey that I will take you through that I know will get you the results. <clears throat> Assuming that you will show up, that's the only one thing. Because I cannot guarantee results. And any coach who does is full of shit. Because I can't be there to make your meals, to track your food, to go to the gym, to sleep on time, to hydrate. You get it. You got to do the work. It is your responsibility to step up, to do something about your health. I do have the framework though. I have the exact roadmap to follow to get you to where you want to be. And I want to share that with you. This is... An official announcement that you haven't heard yet. But on January 6th, we are launching our very first cohort of our new 12-week group coaching program, The Odyssey. For those three months, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know without having to make the mistakes that I made, right? Everything you need to know from 
building healthy, balanced meals, putting together your own meal plan, right? Including social settings, because those are going to come up. I mean, Christmas soon, you know. Um, Meal planning, meal prepping, those kind of things, but also what to do when you can't follow the plan, how to overcome setbacks, bolstering your mindset. Like there's so many things we cover in that 12-week course. Like it's, it's such a cool journey together. I've been working on this all year and I'm now finally sharing it with you. I've been very, like, I've been, you know, I just want to get this out there, but I had to work on it. I had to fine tune it and it's finally ready to go. You learn the exact framework, the three phases that we go through so that you not only get the results and learn how to maintain it, but also can continue to create results because that's huge. Because let me put it this way. If this will be a 12 week program. If I look at how long our clients are staying with us on average, it's anywhere from six years to two years. Oh, sorry, <laughs> six months to two years. An average of, let, let's say, 12 months. It's going to take time. Like I said, like my journey, it's going to take time. But at some point, you're going to be on your own. No one is going to have a coach forever. And I want you to be ready for that moment when you don't have a coach to where you know what to do. That is my goal. I'm not going to tell you that in 12 weeks, you're going to reach your ultimate goal. That would be bullshit. But I can teach you all the knowledge that you need. I can teach you the skills, the tools that you need to be successful. If you don't want to continue with us, of course, after the 12 weeks, you're free to do so. But our first cohort, starting on January 6th, it's going to be 12 weeks. We're going to do this together. And I wanted to have a group option too, to where, you know, not everyone's ready for one-on-one coaching for any reason. And this could be a really solid start of your year. I know you're listening to this. I know you're maybe waiting to take action. And like I said, we are starting in January 6th. But I can tell you this. When you make this investment in yourself, you will learn exactly what it takes. Now, in three days from today, and this is why I wanted to announce this now. In three days from now, I'm going to open up the wait list where you can get more than 30% off. And even though it's a group coaching program, I'm going to give you an individual coaching call with me on the house. I'm also going to do more check-ins with you just for being on the wait list. But that's for now, like everything I'm going to share because it's not officially up yet. It's not officially available yet. But now you listening to this podcast, right? You're the very first to hear about it. So if you want to be the first to know, there's one thing you want to do because of course I'm going to talk more about this on a podcast. But what I need you to do is go to the link in the show notes and you join our newsletter because newsletter subscribers get first dips on the wait list. Spots will be limited. I'm not going to give everyone that discount, right? Only to those wait list people. So the main thing right now, because it's still going to be three days until it officially opens up the wait list at least. Only thing you got to do now is go to the link in our show notes, subscribe. I'm going to send you my free ebook just so you have something to go through in the meantime. And then when it's time to launch, you're going to be the first to know. So I just share something with you that I know will change your life if you show up and you step up and you do the work. Like I said, I can't promise the results because I can't do the work for you. But if you do that part, the work, right, I'm going to guide you through this. So that being said, I hope my story kind of gave you a bit of an uh, example of what it can be like going from confused, overwhelmed, unhealthy to reaching your goals and knowing exactly what to do to achieve more results. So go ahead, link in the show notes. Join the newsletter now. In three days, the waitlist will be open. And then you get that exclusive discount, plus the bonuses I mentioned. And that's it for today. I got a lot more very cool podcasts coming up for you. And what I will do as well, because even though you're on the waitlist, you don't have to commit right away. It will be open through November 14th. But what I'll do as well is on Thursdays, I'm going to be doing a The Odyssey podcast series where I'm going to break down a few things we discuss in the Odyssey so that you get a little bit of a a look behind the scenes so you know what to expect. And of course, we're going to dive into it in more detail because in this program, we're going to do weekly coaching calls where we dive into your questions. And that's really where the magic happens. Like there's going to be the course to go through, but I'm also going to go live every single week for an hour to answer any questions. Make sense? So join the waitlist or at least join the newsletter for now. Then when it opens up, Join the waitlist, and then I'll talk to you in the next episode.